my um, perception of Arbor has been, you know, you guys are the security experts, but it sounds like the company's really as much about uh, monetizing capacity as it is about securing capacity these days. Is that right? Visibility, network visibility, really underpins everything that we do. So we started from that. Uh, you know, that was our that was our early win, if you will, and what got us into a lot of these service providers, helping them understand what are their transit costs. How, when they have to do a network build out or when they're doing planning for capacity, what are the intelligent choices to make? So we came in and you know, not just providing them data, but providing them actual business analytics that they could mm -hmm. use as insights for the, as a basis for developing and building out their networks. And then the process of doing that, we discovered and we recognized that there were um, you know, security aspects to that. You know, now they've got broader infrastructure, they've got more ways that you, the customers, users can get in and out uh, and can access that data. Um, now all of a sudden you have a security problem on top of that and, and we kind of found our way into the DDoS arena. So tell us about what you see from your service provider customers right now. Um, what are their needs uh, as far as security goes and as far as visibility into their networks? As much as they uh, all would love to think that they are, you know, their business models are wildly diversified and that it will all be about over the top at right. some point, the reality is their network is their business. That is their core asset. And now we're seeing uh, definitely a much greater interest as well in how do they uh, operationalize services much more rapidly. And this right. is where virtualization and you know, SDN type concepts start to come into play. Arbor over the course of 2015 has completely virtualized all of our offerings. Um, and now wow. can very flexibly offer, you know, in any, whether they want to buy our appliances or they want to use their own virtual infrastructure, we support that today. Do you think that uh, virtualization allows, uh, makes it easier to do a distributed approach to threat protection? Or does it just make the potential for security breaches wider? Absolutely. I mean, how do you make sure that a, one VNF can't talk to another and can't talk, uh, you know, horizontally and, and, and laterally? Um, within the within the stack, for example, that's that's a problem that will you know be 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 solved and will be evolving over time. But it really is underway. There's a compelling business case for it. Um, again, the cloud infrastructure uh, you know, is really proving this out. And what it the, the primary benefit of it is uh, allowing operators to scale horizontally, network operators to scale horizontally at a much lower cost. Now with virtualization and then with, uh, the, for example, the hybrid model that we, uh, that we uh, you know, we're big proponents of, where you have either a virtual or physical appliance located at the customer prem, and then you have a cloud backup at the, uh, and you have you know, infrastructure protection as well as cloud backup. Once you have a virtualized network, obviously you have to secure it, and that's a big issue. But then security itself becomes sort of the opportunity as well, right? Through things like managed security services. Do you think virtualization accelerates the market for managed security services or does it make it easier to deploy them? What's the uh, correlation between the two? We do think it makes it easier because it allows uh, a network operator or a service provider, for example, the MSSP uh, example you just provided, um, to be able to reach a range of business customer that they couldn't affordably reach before. Right. Um, because they aren't necessarily putting a piece of equipment on premises, they can do it, handle it exclusively from their cloud infrastructure and deliver it as a cloud-based service. Or they could run, in some instances, run a, a virtual instance of it on, um, on local infrastructure that might be available at the enterprise. Do you see a big increase in the number of managed service provider offerings out there right now? Is it, is it a big growth market for, for Arbor? It is, mm. it, it absolutely is. Um, I mean, it was limited, I would say, a few years ago to maybe the top 25 or 50 service providers around the world. And right. now it's you know creeping down into the tier three and below, even the small ISPs. Right are recognizing, regional ISPs are recognizing that this is a, an absolute, you know, it's an extension of what they already do, what right. they already know, uh, and it's an absolute re requirement for them to maintain a sticky customer. Just right. delivering a broadband pipe or Absolutely. providing transit is no longer sufficient. Absolutely. What are the other big growth areas for you guys right now? Where do you see it? Where, I mean, if we follow the money, where's it going? Helping our existing customer base yeah. migrate their technology from the older, um, you know, kind of what I'll call device and sort of box-based uh, approach to obviously a fully virtual environment. Yeah. Um, we're also seeing opportunity now, a little bit sort of lagging virtualization, but absolutely becoming a more, I would say, 
uh, a clear picture for us is SDN. Mm. We already support some SDN capability for on our DDoS product side using SDN, using SDN uh, mechanisms, specifically OpenFlow, for helping control and block large attack activity at the very edges of the network using the existing network infrastructure. Right. So being able to signal to the network and, and use the network as a, as a tool. Right. Um, so that's, a, that's an area. I think SDN you know, ushers in a whole lot of other opportunities, but also threats. I mean, you have now, you have multiple control planes in the network. One of the areas that uh, Arbor has been investing in quite a bit uh, is advanced threat and understanding that there will be a breach in the network. It's not a question of if, yeah. um, and it's a question of how do you understand, look at the forensically, uh, you know, examine the traffic in the network, the activity in the network, and understand uh, if, if people are violating policy and using it in the wrong way. Really interesting stuff, Tolbert. And, uh... Looking forward to hearing more about the Arbor story. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.